What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are in my office at Bun DJ Company. And a few weeks ago, and we'll cut back to it right now, I showed you my new setup in this very office kind of studio tour. The desk, which is the same desk as you're seeing in the background here, was facing that wall. Well, <laughs> as anybody knows, uh, I'm crazy and maybe a little OCD didn't really work out for me so good. So. I changed it again and I wanna show you guys some new stuff that I have on my desk today. So let's get into it. Okay, so now we're gonna take a tour of my new desk setup, my new office setup. Let's get into it, all right? So you can see I left my monitors in here because I really never have liked uh, the way that computer monitors sound. These again are Atom Audio, they're made in Germany. They sound really, really good. A lot of engineers use these in the studio. Probably overkill for what I'm doing, but I love the way they sound. Uh, got these nice stands. I think they're made by Array, A-U-R-A-Y. I'll try and put a link down below and hopefully they still make them, but I love these stands because they're adjustable. So. I put them about head height for when I'm sitting down, but I could have raised them up even higher if I had, for example, a standing desk or something. Again, same desk I had from Crate and Barrel. It's kind of this bluish wood with the brass accents. And then you'll see the main computer I have now is the newest iMac from Apple, of course. In fact, everything up here you see is Apple. Uh, this is probably a couple of year old uh, M1, the 16 inch MacBook Pro, which is huge. And then of course, we've got uh, a little bit older iPad that you've seen me use in some of my videos, uh, normally where I have the reception schedule, uh, the introduction list, and things like that. But what I really wanna show you guys today on this desk setup is this collection called the Gather Collection from a company called Ugmonk. And I'll put a link down below to all this stuff. It's U-G-M-O-N-K and they made everything else that you're seeing sitting on the desk. I bought the entire collection. They have a package bundle that kind of saves you a little bit of money, but let's kind of start left to right. So first thing you'll see here is this beautiful laptop stand, right? Everything is aluminum. Everything is powder coated. Uh, the wood on this, I chose the darker wood. This is all walnut wood. All this stuff is made, I think, in Pennsylvania. I think Pennsylvania, um, you know, even the details like putting the felt here so your laptop doesn't get scratched up. It's just, that's why I really wanted to make this video to show you how well made this stuff is. As somebody that has a manufacturing background and making DJ booths for a lot of you guys that watch this, when I saw this, I was like, this guy really gets it. I, I kind of looked him up. He's a designer. He really takes pride in this stuff, but let's keep on going. So next thing you got, headphone holder, right? So I got the AirPods Max, of course, everything Apple. Uh, these are like the space gray or titanium or something. Headphone holder, super cool. Again, powder coated metal on the ends, walnut in the middle. Check this out. This is a little card holder. Got my business cards in here. You could put paper clips or thumbtacks or whatever. So before we go any further, I wanna show you guys something. You notice how that didn't really move even though it looks super light when I put the headphones on it, you know what that is? Every single one of these pieces has a magnet. It's not super, super strong, but it's strong enough to where you can place it and not have to worry about it, okay? So that's why this, it's got a little magnet on it as well, Ugmunk, boom. Put it, don't have to worry about it, don't have to worry about it tipping over when you put your expensive headphones on there, boom. So let's keep moving across, right? So what else do I have? Another phone holder here. It did not come with the MagSafe charger. I bought that from Apple, but I can just pull my phone out as long as it's got a MagSafe case on it. Boom, I got my phone right there now. Shows how much it's charged. Coming over again, you've got this kind of deluxe little pen and pencil set. Again, magnet on the bottom. This little base plate here attaches right there. If you look under the iMac, they have a little shelf where you could kind of put your favorite book or if you do any journaling or note-taking or doodling. But I put the Scarlett 2i2 because I do 
a lot of, as you know, um, I guess lives and, and events where I want to have a really good high quality microphone. So I just kind of pull this over in front of me, run an XLR in there, and then I've got really good high quality audio. Uh, you got your post-it holder here. Again, another either phone or tablet holder here. Same thing with the felt. And you got your powder coated black. Really nice little pencil cup here. Again, walnut on top, powder coated black, aluminum on the bottom. And I think that is the entire gather collection here on this desk. So, you know, for somebody like me that's super OCD, this was like the perfect find. And I think I just Googled something like best desk accessories or something. And it was one of the first things that popped up. Good job on your SEO, Ugg Monk. Uh, and I was like, dude, this is it. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's not cheap uh, because it's good stuff. It's not supposed to be cheap. Um, I feel like all this stuff was maybe 700 bucks, 750 bucks. Um, but one of my favorite things that I've liked about this new kind of workflow is everything can be connected. Uh, Apple has something called Sidecar that lets these different devices talk to each other. So this is my DJ computer. Uh, I put this right up here. Uh, the iMac is where, you know, I usually check all my emails and stuff throughout the day. And then, like I said, the iPad is where my planner would live. But check this out. When they're all on the same Wi-Fi, I can take the cursor, which is right there. I don't know if you can see it, Jeb. But boom, I can move it over there. I can click on that one. I can bring it back to the middle and I can even go over to the iPad as well. Hold on, oh, it's locked. I can even go over to the iPad as well and click on something there. So that puts all the devices right here. If I, you know, all of a sudden get inspired by something I'm reading on the iMac, on the news or about some new song that's popping off, I can just go boom take the keyboard and mouse and really redirect them over to my DJ computer, go into the record pools real quick, download that song that they're talking about, listen to it, decide if I want to move it to Serato, whatever. And so this new workflow seems to be best for me instead of the dual monitor that I was using before, almost got to be like technology overload. Uh, and the desk facing the wall was kind of depressing me a little bit. So, Anyway, back to this, and of course, I'm always hoping that eventually, in this other beautiful part of the office over there, people will come back and we can stop doing all the calls on Zoom, and maybe people come back and enjoy a glass of wine, meet with their DJ, look at the up lights, take a picture in the photo booth. We can stream our, our presentation to the big screen behind me. Fingers crossed that people will one day come back, but for now, this is my office at Bun DJ Company. I hope you guys enjoyed this little office tour. Um, I hope it kind of gave you some inspiration. Shout out to Ugg Monk for making great products. They didn't pay me. I just decided to make this video because I think their stuff is so kick-ass, so well done, so well designed. Sidebar, side note, customer service, A+. plus. These guys, in the instructions, it said, don't tighten the Allen screw on the bottom of the headphone holder too much or you'll strip the little um, nut in the inside of the dowel, the wooden dowel. What did your boy, the moron, do? Cranked down on it too hard, stripped it out, sent him an email, told him I did it, admitted it. I said, look, I read the instructions. I went too hard. Two days later, brand new dowel in the mail. No questions asked, no charge. A plus customer service. Thank you, Ugg Monk. So hope you guys like this little behind the scenes look at the Bun DJ Company office. As always, stay tuned to the channel for more content. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and I will personally respond to it. Thank you guys. See ya.